Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, Eric from Grimy Mid Sports Cards coming at you again with another video today. I'd like to start out by saying happy Memorial Day to everybody. It is Memorial Day today. I'd like to thank everyone out there that has had anything to do with serving our country. Uh, any policeman, any military, any correctional officer, any anything, thank you so much for your service to our country. I love our country, and I'm glad we have our country to be able to do what we do every single day. I'm coming at you today with another video. It's been a little while since I've done a video. I've been super busy at work, but it hasn't stopped me from picking up cards. Uh, it hasn't stopped me from working uh, the regular card show here once a month in Phoenix. So today I'm going to come at you with uh, three different PSA reveals. Uh, one of them is a two card reveal, one of them is a three card reveal, one of them is a ten card reveal. So uh, we're going to go into those ones. Then I'm going to do uh, some graded card pickups that I've done. Uh, this is actually going to be a little two part series here. Uh, I'll go uh, next, to the, the next video will be uh, all of the raw stuff that I've picked up. Uh, most of this stuff is going to uh, end up getting sent off to PSA or to SGC to, uh, to get graded sometime here in the near future. Now I'm only about halfway through all of the stuff that I've picked up that's raw so far, but we're going to show you some of the highlights that go along with it so far. So happy Memorial Day to everybody. I hope you're enjoying your family. I hope you're grilling outside, having a beer, having a cigar, having whatever it is you enjoy, and just enjoying the fact that we have a country we can do what we do. Here we go, folks. I'm going to get into it right away here. Take a second to adjust the camera. Get it down here. So PSA has been pretty rough lately, as everybody knows. Um, I've got... A number of cards here that I'm a little bit aggravated about, a little bit disappointed about. Um, the first one I'm going to start off with here is 2005 Tops Chris Paul Rookie. Uh, I don't want to hear about it from anybody from my Phoenix Suns that just absolutely just blew it this year. Um, don't even know what to say about it. This card, however, I put this card in about three months ago. Uh, when PSA was doing the, oh, I got a sticker on it because I was getting ready to sell it. Um, when PSA was doing the, the lottery system, my friend George from G Diamond Yard Sports Card and I got a few of these lotteries to send this in. This card is a 10 all day long, except for the fact I'm going to get it close. I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. This top left corner right here when they were packaging it, when they were putting it in the holder, when they were taking it out, whatever it was that they were doing, they clipped this corner. This corner got bent. And this card was a 10 all day. I measured it, I put it on a centering tool, I looked at it with a magnifying glass. There was nothing wrong with this card in any way, shape, or form. Um, they bent a corner and they gave it an eight. And I'm upset about that, but what are you going to do for a card? I mean, if it gets a 10, it's a couple hundred bucks. In an 8, it's about 50 bucks. So, whatever. I mean, it's just kind of what we have to live with these days with PSA. Next one, this is one. This one is pretty rare. Uh, 96 scoreboard. It's the Allen Iverson number one draft pick die cut rookie card. This card had has absolutely nothing wrong with it. I'm not sure why it only gets an eight. There's no scratches. Corners are sharp. The die cut is perfect along the sides here. Um, maybe there's a minute amount of chipping across the bottom here, but that I think may be the only problem. Um, should have been a nine all day, minimum. I thought it really had a shot at a 10. But a cool card nonetheless. Uh, didn't have one. Pretty rare card. Not a whole lot of those out there. Uh, just wish it would have gotten a higher grade. Uh, another disappointment here. I'm going to go just a little bit lower with the camera. I'm getting a little bit of reflection off of the lights here. This is 2003 
Fleer Ultra, Tom Brady, this is the gold medallion. This card gets a seven. Now, there is nothing wrong with this card. Absolutely nothing. The only thing I can find after getting it back, corners are so sharp you can shave with them. It's got this great rounded die cut corner. Really well centered. Uh, the only thing I can find, and I doubt the camera is going to be able to pick it up, but I'll tell you, right here underneath the corner of the two, in between the one and the two, is the minutest little indentation. Um, I bought this card raw, thought it was a 10 all day. I still think it's a nine minimum. However, if PSA, I put this in under no qualifiers. Um, so if PSA found, saw that little dent that's right there, um, like I said, it's tiny, it's so small. I didn't even see it with a magnifying glass before I put it in there but I can see it in the case since I got it back. Well, if you put it in no qualifiers, they dump it two grades if it has an issue like that. So it would have been a nine. Um, just very disappointed with this one. Really disappointed. Thought this card was way, way nicer. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think when it comes down to it, I'm probably gonna crack this card and I'm probably gonna send it into SGC just to see what SGC has to say about it. Because I think I think it's better than what PSA has given it. Next we have 2002 SP Authentic Tom Brady. Uh, this card, another one. Uh, it's a 10 all day. I bought this card raw. I measured it before I bought it. I put it under the centering tool before I bought it. I bought it from a friend of mine. So I had a chance to really examine it. There is nothing wrong with this card. Uh, I think PSA is, uh, you know, creating a... Uh, scarcity of the you know low pop tens like they do on some of these cards um, this one you know I'm okay with a nine I'm gonna keep it it's gonna be in my collection because I don't have one this is of course not a rookie but it is the first SP card of Tom Brady um, so it's you know it's a it's a it's a nice card I wish it was a 10 I'm not sure I, I may try and sell it we, I may sell it, I may not. We'll see. Just see how it goes. Um, next one here. Let me dig it out. There we go. 96 Finest with the coating on there. Allen Iverson Rookie. Th this card is perfect. Uh, once again, uh, this card is perfect. There is not, there's nothing wrong. The coating is peeling off in any way, shape, or form. It is bright, it's shiny, corners are really sharp, centering is great all the way around. Um, I don't know, centering might be off a little bit on the back, it's not off on the front. Maybe a little off left to right or something on the back, but if that's the reason why you're gonna ding it and give it a nine instead of a 10, I mean, I guess I get it, but anyway. Nice card. Glad to have it in a nine. Didn't have this card either. Um, more than likely this will end up in the PC just to hang on to. Love the Allen Iversons. Been putting in a bunch of Iversons, Iverson rookies lately. Now getting on to, that was the two and the three card order. Getting on to the 10 card order. First card in the order. Oh, guess what? Questionable authenticity. If you've watched some of my videos, you saw this card in one of my other videos when I picked it up raw about three, four months ago, five months ago, something like that. This is the Cal Cards, San Bernardino Spirit, Ken Griffey Jr., minor league rookie. PSA has graded these cards in the past. I think it must be because they are still under an FBI watch that they're now saying that this has questionable authenticity because they don't want to grade something that, you know, is going to get them in trouble or something like that. 
I have a real problem with this. They have graded a ton of these cards. And none of them are in the lighthouse holder, so they haven't been grading them for a little while. I guess maybe I should have caught that, but I thought this card was an 8 all day long. And possibly a little better than that, maybe an 8, 5, or a 9. I was hoping just to be able to put it in my collection. Love the kid. Love the Griffey Jr. stuff. Have a bunch of 10s of his rookies. Was just hoping to uh, add that one. I think SGC is grading those. So more than likely I'm going to send it off to SGC along with a couple of other cards in the last year or so that I've gotten back from PSA that they also said questionable authenticity. Uh, one of them being a um, Memphis Chicks 1986 or 85, 86, 87, something like that. Bo Jackson when he was in the minor leagues. Uh, I got a questionable authenticity on that one. Uh, also, 2010, uh, I have a Mike Trout minor league rookie card that is a red foil um, short print card that I, it, I put in and it got questionable authenticity as well. All of these cards have been graded by PSA in the past. They just decided not to grade them anymore. So I think they're probably all going to go to SGC just to, you know, just to get some sort of a grade on them because they are authentic cards. We all know that. We've all seen them. We've seen them graded. So going to move on. Uh, enough of that. We're going to get into the first card that was a really good one. Uh, I made a trade about two or three months ago at the local show here in Phoenix. Uh, the guy that I was tra making a trade with, uh, we were short about a hundred bucks or so, and I said, "Well, it's either a hundred bucks cash, or I'm going to need, you know, something to make it a little bit better." And I was digging through his stuff, and I found this. Uh, I do not have I well, I have one now. I did not have one of these, um, and this is a 2005 Upper Deck Sweet Spot Classic Materials Satchel Page, little piece of pants on this card any of you out there in YouTube land know it, in the card world if you have put any kind of a jersey card into PSA to get graded getting a gem mint 10 is near impossible uh, so I was super excited I mean I knew this card was really nice uh, when I traded the guy and when I looked at it and I said I'd really like to add this satchel to my collection um, And it came back a 10. I am very very excited about this card super low pop on this card I think there's only seven tens. This would be number seven right here uh, And if I'm not mistaken out of those seven tens I have one and my best friend George from Diamond Yard Sports Cards I think he has two or possibly three uh, of this same card uh, that are graded in tens. So uh, my best friend and I are dominating the population of tens of this card. Super excited to add this one to the collection. Next we have another Allen Iverson rookie, 96 Ultra. This card I thought really, really nice. Uh, once again, maybe it's a tiny bit high. Not sure. I've never graded this card before, so I'm not quite sure. Comes back a PSA 9. I mean, I'm okay with a 9, but of course, rather have a 10 um, and really thought that it was a 10. It looks to me like the centering is dead on. Um, there are no scratches. Corners are sharp. Like I said, the only thing I could possibly think is, I'd do this maybe a little bit, the only, so maybe you can see it a little bit better. The only thing I could possibly think of is that maybe the centering top and bottom is off a little bit because it's dead on for this side to side this little uh, this little bit fatter up here fatter here fatter here I mean it's uh, it, it, it's dead on but still another Iverson rookie in a nine I'm all right with it not great but I'm all right with it next we have 2001 Fleer it's the Fleer tradition it's the Ichiro rookie these only came in the factory sets. Uh, my best friend George and I from Diamond Yard Sports Cards bought two cases of sets of these cards. And we cracked the sets, uh, I want to say, a year or so ago. I've sent some of them into SGC. 
Uh, this is one of the only ones that I've sent to PSA so far. I thought this one was really, really nice. I think it's off a little bit left to right. I think that's why it only got a 9. Um, otherwise, it's a 10 all day. Uh, super nice card. Uh, by the way, if you're buying any of those factory sets, for whatever reason, when we went through all the factory sets, my friend George got uh, out of six sets, there were uh, six sets in a case, we split two cases. Uh, out of his six sets, he got six Ichiros and six pool holes. Out of my six sets, I cracked them open, I got six Ichiros and only four pool holes. I'm not sure if it was a mistake, I'm not sure what happened in that one, but I got shorted to two pool holes in the midst of all of that. So, just to let you know, there's a possibility if you buy sets of those looking for those rookies, you might get shorted. I'm not sure. Uh, next we have 2000 Skybox Dominion. This is Giovanni Carmazzi and Tom Brady rookie. Now I want you to notice this because this says Gem Mint 10 right here. I'm excited about the fact that this got a Gem Mint 10. This is a nice card. I bought this from a friend of mine. Uh, I looked at it when I bought it. This card was no better than an 8.5 or a 9. I just didn't have this card in my collection, wanted to get it graded. I don't know that I can get it close enough for you to actually see um, on the camera. Let me bump it just a little bit to see if we can get it. No, nope, it just slid back down. I can tell you folks, and I will tell you, right down here along this edge, on the bottom edge, there was a ding on this card, and I bought it with a ding on the card, thinking to myself, ah, it's gonna be an 8.5 or a 9 because it's got that little ding, otherwise it's perfect. Um, I did a little bit of work to this card. Uh, I put it in a soft sleeve, I put it in a top loader, and I actually used the back end of a spoon uh, just to rub it out a little bit and try and make that dent, it came from the factory, um, make that dent a little bit less pronounced. In the process of doing that, uh, I never got the dent all the way out. But I've got several cards here that I got, what I feel, is shafted on. And I'm not so sure, but I think that PSA might have given me a little love on this one or they're just going so fast with brand new graders that may not know exactly what they're doing and not knowing what they're looking for that they gave this a 10. This card, I'm telling you, is not a 10. Um, it's not, it's got a ding. Uh, even after I worked on it, it shouldn't have been better than a nine, but for whatever reason, this gets a 10. I'm excited that it gets a 10 because it makes it worth quite a bit. Um, and I'll keep it in the collection, but knowing in the back of my head, that it's not a 10. Uh, next we have three of the same card. Uh, I pulled these out of a huge collection that I bought six months ago or so. Uh, it was in one of my other videos. I bought 900 pounds of cards off of uh, a, a an auction site. I uh, didn't realize that it was coming from Vermont and I live in Arizona and it cost me about $1,500 to ship it which was uh, close to four times the amount of what I paid for the collection. So, there were three of these in here. If you remember the old uh, 1980 Topps cards, this is 1996 Collector's Choice. These are the minis. Three perforated cards together. You got Kevin Garnett, you got Jermaine O'Neal, and you got Kobe Bryant rookies. All three of these that I put in were really, really nice. This one here, uh, thought was a 10 all day long. And I'll get it closer so you can see. You see this edge right up here on the top. You can see how it goes straight across and then it dips down. That was not there when I sent it in. Now, uh, a little picture of the back. Nice card, it's still a nice card. Happy to have it in a nine. Should have been a 10. Now, I'm gonna go with the second one here. Um, this may or may not be the right one. Let me see, nope, this is the right one. Uh, same card. This one only gets an eight. 
I'm gonna come up close again. If you'll notice, this card, straight across, dips down here at the corner in the exact same spot, the exact same way as the card that got a nine did. These cards were not like that when I sent them in. I would have never sent them in to PSA knowing what they, you know, knowing how harsh they're grading right now, I would have never sent these in with that kind of an issue on this card uh, or the one that got a nine. Uh, they damage, this is what, three or four cards now, five cards now out of all of these cards that have been damaged by them. I was dumb in the fact that I did not take pictures of all of these cards before I packed them up and sent them off to PS before we sent them off to PSA um, and so I don't have pictures proving that the card did not look like that before it got sent to them so I have no recourse uh, big lesson learned for me uh, I have always taken pictures in the past I just didn't do it this time around and I'm paying for it big time uh, so this is the third one here also got an eight. This one got an eight because it's off. It's off center. It's a little bit low. It's a little bit off left to right. Still a nice card. I uh, thought one of these for sure would get a ten. Nope. Two eights and a nine. Next one. You saw me put this one on a video several months ago. I bought this one raw from a friend of mine. Actually, the same guy that I bought the. Uh, uh, Brady and Carmazzi rookie that got a 10 that shouldn't have gotten a 10. Uh, 2018 Panini Revolution. This is the rookie autographs. DeAndre Ayton, Phoenix Suns center. This card is a 10 all day. And it only gets a 9. I get it. PSA is being ridiculously tough. Okay, that's fine. Um, but this card, you can see. there. There's nothing wrong with it. It is dead on. Autograph is awesome. Um, the only thing I can kind of see is there's just a, the minutest amount of uh, chipping and it's across let me see if I can get it if I can get it to check out across the top here there's a little tiny bit of whiting right here on the corner and there's like one or two minuscule little chips right up there on the top okay I get it that gives you a nine that's fine. This card was going to stay in my collection anyway. Uh, it's, a, it's a rookie autograph. The kid's really good. I was going to keep it anyway. So I'm all right with that one. Of course, I would have rather had a 10. But we're going to end it up with a great card here. I really didn't think that this one was going to get a 10, but it did. This is the 2000 Crown Royal, Royal Rookies, Miguel Cabrera, Miggy. This is the futures card. There's one of this is one of like three or four cards of his in this set. Um, this got a ten. This also came out of the 900 pounds of cards that I bought and paid so much to uh, ship. Uh, this is a really really tough card. Super low pop card. Uh, I think this is number five or number six of tens of this card, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I can't remember for sure. I looked it up the other day, but I can't remember for sure right now. So I was super happy to get a 10 on this one. You know, we got a couple of 10s where it counted. This one counts. Certainly the Satchel jersey counts. And certainly the Brady jersey, or Brady jersey, Brady, Brady rookie card counts. Um, even though that card probably should not have been a 10. So that does it for this video, folks. Thank you so much for checking out the reveal. Uh, part two will be coming up and possibly even a part three because I have a bunch of raw stuff and a bunch of graded stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll be putting out a couple more videos here with all the recent pickups to go along with this PSA reveal. Keep collecting what you like, folks. Keep collecting what you love. Happy Memorial Day to everybody.